Hey everybody, welcome back to Tim Travels. It's Terry, your host. So, still here in Rapid City, South Dakota. Um, got a load that I'm gonna pick up uh, tomorrow morning over in uh, Sioux Falls. Um, so basically on the other side of the state. And uh, then I'm gonna run that down to the southeast. Um, so, yeah, so in my previous video, I mentioned yesterday was November 3rd, um, which was National Sandwich Day, but it was also something else. And this is kind of a continuing saga that I've kind of been following just because I'm, you know, intellectually curious. And, you know, we all love to watch a disaster movie, right? So yesterday was U.S. Express's third quarter earnings call um, third quarter ended of course on September 30th but uh, their earnings call was yesterday and it's been earnings season they're usually a little bit behind a lot of other companies but they uh, they had their earnings call so here was the uh, and I read I read a transcript of it and this really didn't jump out to me but then I just read an article about it and um, I got to tell you if you work at Variant, um, you know, buy the t-shirts and hats before they're all gone because Variant is basically a dead man walking. And here's why. So, U.S. Express announced that in the quarter they had to set aside, and, and it sounded like it was an additional... 25.7 million dollars for two claims uh, now for those of you who aren't in the trucking industry or even are and don't understand how two claims could uh, cost that much when they say claims they're not talking about we effed up some cargo while we were transporting it they're not even talking about we effed up you know some cargo when we wrecked uh, they're talking about big accidents where the company has to set aside money for potential liability. And it could be that um, <clears throat> that they already, they've, you know, they're in settlement negotiations or their lawyers are telling them, hey, if we lose this case, this is what it could be. So two claims. And remember, $25.7 million sounds like a lot of money for an auto accident. But remember that I talked about Keller Trucking, Marvin Keller Trucking out of uh, Illinois, and they lost a jury verdict in Kentucky that was in excess of $10 million and they had to put the company in bankruptcy. Now certainly US Express is much bigger than Keller, Marvin Keller, and I, I say Marvin because there's another Keller Trucking out of um, it. Is it Defiance, Ohio? But they're right over, they're the ones that have the light blue trucks. So Marvin Keller has the black and like lime green ones. Anyway, um, so these could have been, you know, plowed into a school bus type of accidents or, you know, plowed into a bunch of stop traffic. You never know. Um, and people were killed or hurt. And a lot of times hurt is more expensive than killed. Um, so anyway, there, there's that, but here, here are some numbers that jumped out at me. Over the road division, their utilization per tractor is averaging 1,558 miles a week. So if you're a US Express driver, and by the way, I'm not trying to recruit you anywhere. If you like the company, you should stay there. I've, I always say that about any company. But $15.58 a week, if I was an OTR driver and I was out, you know, if I'm driving $15.58 a week, I better be home for two of those days. Because, you know, even at, you know, you do the math, right? Um, I've never sensed that these guys are like at the top of the pay scale when it comes to OTR companies. So even if you're making 50 cents a mile, $15.58, you know, you're talking, what, $775 gross to be, you know, out for seven days. 
that's not good money and and I can't believe drivers are happy with that and that's the average so you know there's some guy that's knocking back you know some people knocking back 1700 but by the way 1700 is nothing either um, OTR driver that's on the road for seven days you better have at least at least 2200 miles a week um, you know I know the market slowed a bit but heck some weeks at GP Transco I was like 26 28 3,000 sometimes I, I think one week and this was just because how trips were I was at like 3,300 miles for the week legal by myself so 1558 not good their goal is like in the 1800 range um, they're dedicated division people are getting more miles but it's still not it's still not 1800 the other number that jumped out at me um, was their OR their operating ratio now this takes into account both the operating ratio for the OTR for their trucks as well as their brokerage and it also takes into account that 25.7 million dollars that I um, just mentioned for the claims but their quarterly OTR was 104.5 what that means is for every dollar of revenue that US Express took in in Q3 in the third quarter for every dollar they took in in gross revenue it cost them one hundred and four dollars and fifty cents or excuse me it cost so let, let me back up and say it a better way for every one hundred dollars they made they spent a hundred and four dollars and fifty cents to make that one hundred now I didn't major in math in college in fact I didn't even take math in college because I hate math but I can tell you uh, with a high degree of certainty that a business that spends four dollars and fifty cents more per hundred dollars of revenue than it takes in is not long for this world now are they going out at, are they going out of business tomorrow no but they did say that they were skinnying down variant they're not going to buy any more variant tractors they've had trouble with retention which they reported with their q2 results but here's the other thing and i've focused on this before right i i look at balance sheets their balance sheet is carrying more debt now than they have in probably forever and when they went public in 2018 this one of their stated goals was to reduce their debt and instead it's just ballooned they you know they're gonna they're gonna reduce debt because they're extending the life of their tractor fleet um, they're not gonna buy more tractors but they've been they probably probably have been buying I mean given their OR there's no other way they could probably do it but they've been buying trucks on credit and you know buying trucks on credit in in a in an economy where everything is you know going great it's all rainbows and butterflies and the more trucks you have the more you make that's cool but when you borrowed money to only run a truck 1500 miles a week you know you're probably that's probably not a great recipe for success now is is variant you know I mean the 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 people that I read you know they're like yeah variants gonna be around in that it's gonna be on the name of it's gonna be on the side of gray trucks but for all intents and purposes the variant initiative has been um, <clears throat> shall we say not as not as successful as leadership at USX had hoped they already closed down the Atlanta headquarters we talked about that they laid they've laid people off in two different rounds um, <clears throat> you know if you were a variant devotee and you know you got in on the ground floor um, maybe it worked maybe you got out of it what you needed kind of like the first three people in a Ponzi scheme usually get get plenty out of it but 
you know, if you're going to variant now because it's some kind of new invention in the trucking world, know that it's not. And you might be driving a truck that says variant, but that truck is just, you know, it's just, it's like a Christmas package, right? Um, it doesn't matter what the wrapping on it is. It only matters what's inside, right? Because I can, I can wrap up a, do, a box of dog crap and put a really nice bow on it and stick it under the tree. And it looks great until somebody opens it up Christmas morning. So anyway, you know, I think the company's probably going to survive, but I think there's going to continue to be a lot of changes. Um, and, you know... I don't know that that in this environment, um, you know, they're they're talking about, you know, their CEO is talking about unsophisticated operators going out of business and that helping them, and you know, I, I've never thought it's a great business model to be hoping that your competitors go out of business so you can get more market share. I mean, that happens certainly, but um, you know. I don't know that that's, uh, that's a good strategy. And the other thing that I thought was interesting is that the CEO of, of US Express indicated that customers like their old model better. In other words, the variant model was not favored by customers. Um, it might have been better for drivers. It might have been better for any number of reasons but apparently their customers don't think it's that great and they the customers like the old model um, so what's old is new again so anyway um, I just wanted to give you that update I'm not looking to be a profit I'm not looking to be you know some kind of guru here I just know what I read and uh, you know I don't like it when companies, you know, and I don't know what they're telling their workers. I don't know what they're telling their drivers. But I, I know this, if you're, if you're driving a truck that says variant on the side, it's just a pretty Christmas present at this point. So anyway, if, uh, love to hear comments. And by the way, if you're, if you're a corporate employee at USX, um, you know, I'll find out about it um, if you comment, unless you're really super anonymous. Um, cause the internet's a wonderful thing. And I've had a couple of people comment and, you know, but they, they never, you know, but when you just point out the numbers, they never have anything to talk about. Um, you know, I don't care if, if somebody in investor relations wants to comment, you know, I'm just looking at it the way I think a lot of people are looking at it. And, but my, my role or my goal is to just share information with, you know truck drivers and you know just make sure that or not make sure but hope that companies are straightforward with their with their folks especially when things are a little bit tenuous um, and people are a little bit you know nervous about things so anyway thanks for watching um, like comment subscribe and I will oh and by the way uh, never mind, I'll, I'll make a different announcement about that. But I want to talk about a live show um, that's going to be kind of fun. Anyway, talk to you soon. Bye.